My wife is a decorator designer. She likes to get used furniture and then she puts a black lacquer finish on it mm. and then boom, you can mm -hmm. really get a cool yeah. piece that yeah. pops yeah. In, in the decorating scheme. Mm -hmm. So Weston, what's your tip when it comes to buying used furniture? If you're ever buying used furniture, the best thing you can do is heavily inspect it. Flip it over, look at the legs, look in between the cushions, all the seams, everything like that, looking for signs of bed bugs, which is the black stain marks uh, or live bed bugs, or as they grow, they'll molt their shell and you'll notice an empty shell, uh, or just bed bug eggs, which are those little white dots you may see, and they're kind of comparable to the size of uh, maybe a piece of dandruff. It's definitely, wow. you can see, wow. that's but it's small. Hard. Small. Small. Yep. And, and we're running out of time, but I know they can be difficult to eradicate too, so I think mm -hmm. you're probably best served to get professional help yep. if you have a major infestation because it it, it involves yeah. quite a bit to make sure they're yeah. out and yep. gone. Call somebody like what? Yeah, that? so if yep. you have a bed bug issue, um, the best thing you can do if you even notice it is proper identification. Um, look through and make sure that's actually the issue because people can get it mixed up sometimes with fleas or something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're just noticing bites. Um, but if it is bed bugs, go throughout the whole home, inspect everything, seeing where you're actually seeing them. Um, and then wherever you're seeing them, if it's in multiple areas, wherever the activity is heaviest, that's how it started um, in that room. Because until you figure out how the bed bugs got there in the first place, even if you fix the problem, it can always keep coming back in the future. So yeah. figuring out how you got those bed bugs in the first place is very, very important. And they can live for so long without food, oh, you yeah, said, Weston, I, right? Remarkable. Yeah. They uh, fill up, on, yeah. and they actually live on human blood, right? Yeah. Uh, so they fill up on blood. That's the only thing they eat is they, blood. I mean, yep. we didn't have time to get in the whole... <laughs> They're like <but> zombies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, they, like Dracula. Yes they, yes, they are. And, you know, we yeah. don't want you to stop supporting... Salvation Army or Goodwill, but right. you know, be careful. Right. I mean, they're doing a great job. They're trying their best to keep mm -hmm. clothing, furniture, mm -hmm. uh, bedding, all that, all that stuff, yep. you know, as good as possible. But if if you're doing going there, uh, frequenting that type of uh, mm -hmm. institution, just be careful. Yeah, you just need to be cautious yeah. and look out because it's just such a big issue. I've been doing pest control now for. 10 years and when I initially started pest control bed bugs weren't really a big issue I never really got uh -oh. calls or jobs for well. it um, versus now I've had my own business for six years and I get calls daily for bed bugs <laughs> um, it's about 80 percent of my business is wow. all just bed bugs it's kind of what wow. I specialize in I didn't in realize such a big problem well continued yeah. success Weston and getting <laughs> those bed bugs under control oh yes